hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for watching this video my name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs I'm coming to you ladies and gentlemen today with a DIY pop-up on a pair of African print earrings here are the items that you will need to achieve this look you're gonna need some scissors a ruler you're going to need some wire cutters round those pliers three pieces of 12 gauge silver aluminum wire you're going to need some you're going to need some aluminum wire but I'm using two different colors I'm also using this 12 gauge green color aluminum wire you're going to need a top to make your shape this the size of this top is an inch and a half you're going to need a glue gun and you're also going to need two fish hooks for your project you might need jump rings. You might need jump rings, okay? You might. You may or you may not need two jump rings, okay? It depends on how your earrings, how the aluminum wire goes, okay? And last but not least, you're going to need some African print fabric. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this project using African print fabric, okay? I am just showing you uh, the fabric that I'm using for this project, but if you want to achieve the same look, you will need African print fabric, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the very first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna take our green aluminum wire and we're going to wrap it around your top okay this is a medicine top that I'm using and you're going to wrap it twice just like this and what you're going to do next you want to just make sure that it's nice and tight that they're snug up against each other. And then you wanna take and just snip right here. So you wanna take your wire cutters and snip just like that because you want both of these two ends to meet, okay? You take that off. Now, I have already cut my fabric, okay? This fabric is 22 and a half inches long. You don't need it to be 22 and a half inches long. And what I'm going to do is that long, okay? It's really long, 22 inches. And I'm gonna fold this piece in half, just like this. I want my ends to meet. And I am going to just take my scissors and cut this in half because you're going to need two four pieces because two pieces make one earring okay now basically what I did was I cut my fabric about an inch and a half wide and I folded it over or tried to get it in the middle fold it over fold both so both sides over and on it down okay because you want this the pieces that's open you want those pieces to be the inside okay so the next thing that I have already done I believe I hope I set this in the beginning I cut three pieces of my gold wire 10 and a half inches long. I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the video, but three pieces of gold wire, 10 and a half inches long. So the next thing that I'm getting ready to do 
is I'm going to go ahead and put my piece onto my loop. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put some glue in the middle of this. You don't really need a lot. And I'm gonna fold both of my ends over just like that. If some come out up at the top, don't worry about it, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric, put it through the hole, put some glue up at the top, and what you wanna put you want to take it and put it through this. You want it to cover these two ends, okay? So you're going to take and put it just like this. You want to take your glue gun and you want to just put a little smidge of glue up at that top. Fold it over just like that, okay? Fold it over. And then we're going to start wrapping it. So I'm gonna start wrapping just like this, okay? Start wrapping your ear, wrapping your earring. Now as you're wrapping, you wanna hold it as tight as possible as you're going around. And of course you're gonna have a little glue. And what I don't do is I don't glue in between when I'm making my projects because when you use hot glue, you don't have to do that, okay? And I'm just gonna continue to go around and wrap, just like this. And so I'm gonna stop this in the middle of this video. I'm gonna come all the way around and I'm gonna show you how to finish it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so when you get too close to being done, you want to continue to finish wrapping it. Just like this. Okay. And I'm going to take it one more time and take it over. And basically, this is what you're going to have. So this is a perfect, pretty much a perfect circle. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to wrap it one more time. So we're going to wrap it one more time. And then we're going to bring this piece up like this. And we're going to cut it. Okay? So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this piece just like that. And I'm going to take and put some glue, try to get some glue in between. So I'm gonna take my glue gun, put some glue in between, just like this. And I'm gonna fold it over like this. Now, if you get glue on this part of the fabric, don't stress okay because i'm going to show you a technique that is going to cover that you won't even be able to see it okay so this is our first b so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and do the second one and i will be back okay ladies and gentlemen so i have both of my pieces that i've done this is going to be my top piece and this is going to be my bottom piece. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece of my 10 gauge, 10 inches of aluminum wire and I'm going to make a loop down the bottom. Okay, so this is pretty much what you are going to have ladies and gentlemen. Hope you can see that and I'm going to place that loop right here okay just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this three times you want to hold it as tight as you can it's going to move around but just hold it as tight as you can 
and we're going to wrap this three times. So that's the first time. This is the second time. And we're going to wrap it one more time. This is the third time. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to bring this piece under and up. And I'm going to make, I'm going to put like a little, a kind of a big loop right there, as you can see. Okay. Then I'm going to take and bring my piece back through again and wrap it three more times. So that's one, two, and three. So when I bring it through one more time, I'm gonna take it to the, to the side just like this, okay? It's gonna be just like that. So I'm gonna take and I'm going to cut some of this off with my wire cutters. And I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and make a loop. Just like that. I'm gonna squeeze that over like that. Now, it doesn't matter how these are setting, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat nose pliers, and I forgot to mention it, and I'm going to take this and pinch it just like that. Okay? Just like that, because we want this to be facing this way and not to the side, okay? So that part is done. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pretty much do this piece the same way. So I'm going to take another piece of my 10 inches of 12 gauge aluminum wire, make a loop, and I'm gonna take this piece and hold it just like this and wrap it three times first. So that's one wrap, two, that's one, two, and this will be the third one. Now I forgot to mention, you wanna make sure that your earrings, that your circles, you wanna make sure that you're wrapping it where you put the, the glue to seal it because this, this wire is gonna kinda cover it up a little bit, okay? So basically, you wanna bring this piece up like this. You wanna make another loop, nice size loop, just like this, and you are going to hook this piece onto this piece. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire, bring it down, and push that through just like that, okay? You do wanna have a little bit of space, as a matter of fact, wait a minute. You wanna have a little bit of space, but you don't wanna have too much space. So you just go and make your adjustment, pinch that up, and basically this is what you're going to have. You're gonna take this piece of your wire, you're gonna push this piece through, okay? And then you're going to finish wrapping this piece three times. You don't want to add this in, okay? So you got to make sure you watch what you're doing. And you want to just start wrapping this piece three more times. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. Okay? So I'm gonna bring it through one more time, just like this. And I'm actually going to cut that piece off. This piece right here. Just gonna snip it. And I'm going to make another loop, just like this, and push it up on my earring, or push it down on the earring. And this is pretty much how your earring is starting to look now I am going to go ahead and add on my fish hook so 
I'm going to add on my fish hook. And like I said, you may or you may not need to add a jump ring. So I don't need to add a jump ring. Just make sure that you can move this around, okay? All right, so there we have that. So last but not least, we're going to add the final piece, which is the piece that I have hanging from the bottom. So all I'm going to do is make another loop. And I'm going to just make some spirals. Now, if you have some nylon pliers, you can use nylon pliers, but I use my finger instead of nylon pliers because it doesn't give me the grip that I want. And I'm just going to roll this up just like this. Okay. And this is what you're going to have. Now, basically, when you get to this part right here, you want to have at least an inch left over. So you want an inch, okay? So right where that inch is, you wanna take your round nose pliers and pinch it up. And then you wanna make a huge loop like this. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece, open that up, and slide that on to the bottom. And then we just close the loop. Just like this. And I am going to take this outside so you can actually see all of the gorgeous colors. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is our end result of our earrings. I decided to come outside so you can actually see the really beautiful colors. So, I wanna thank y'all for watching. It's a lot going on, y'all. If you hear a lot of stuff going on, it's air conditioners running, it's a lot going on. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching. For those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that all bell button that is on the side so that when I upload more videos, you will definitely be notified. I want to thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Have a wonderful and awesome day, everyone. Peace and blessings. See ya.